Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfet. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace the Chairman of the Pakistani Senate, Mohammed Sadiq Sinjrani, and his accompanying delegation on the occasion of his official visit to the kingdom upon the invitation of the Shura Council Chairman. Sinjrani conveyed to His Majesty the King the greetings and appreciation of the President of Pakistan, Araf Alawi, and Prime Minister Amran Khan, and their wishes of advancement to the kingdom. His Majesty also asked the Chairman of the Pakistani Senate to convey his greetings to the President and Prime Minister of Pakistan and his wishes of progress and prosperity for their country. His Majesty hailed the deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and Pakistan, which are based on cooperation, understanding and mutual respect. He noted the importance of visits that contribute to increasing cooperation and joint action, as well as exchanging expertise, especially at the legislative and parliamentary levels. His Majesty hailed the honorable stances of Pakistan towards the kingdom, which embodies Islamic Brotherhood ties, commending its vital role in supporting the causes of the Arab and Islamic nations and its contributions to maintaining regional and global security and stability. His Majesty stated that the successful Bahraini parliamentary march continues making achievements at various levels expressing pride in the legislative authority's role and significant contributions to serving comprehensive national development. During the meeting, the two sides discussed regional and international developments as well as topics of common interest. For his part, the chairman of the Pakistani Senate expressed deep thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for the warm welcome and generous hospitality, expressing pride in His Majesty's efforts and support to consolidating bilateral relations, particularly at the legislative and parliamentary levels. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at his residence in Germany His Majesty the King's advisor for diplomatic affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa and the Minister of Foreign Affairs Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister congratulated Dr. Zayani on the Royal Trust in appointing him Foreign Affairs Minister, wishing him success in consolidating the distinguished position of Bahraini diplomacy for the interests of the kingdom. His Royal Highness praised Dr. Zayani's competency and experience. And and the roles he and responsibilities he has assumed in all the positions he held. His Royal Highness also expressed thanks and appreciation to Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed for the efforts he exerted for Bahrain's diplomacy march, wishing him further success in his new duties. For his part, His Majesty the King's advisor expressed deepest congratulations to His Royal Highness the Premier on his full recovery and hailed his support throughout his tenure at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Dr. Zayani also expressed thanks and appreciation to the Prime Minister for supporting the Diplomatic Action March, affirming that the stances of His Royal Highness in defending the interests and rights of the country will remain embedded in the history of Bahraini diplomatic work.
Under the patronage of the Representatives Council Speaker Fawzia Zainal, the Council held a discussion entitled A Reading of Legislative Progress in the Kingdom of Bahrain 1999-2019, through which papers were presented by various ministers and officials from the legislative and executive authorities. Zainal opened with a speech which was followed by a presentation on the evolution of the legislative experience in Bahrain. MP Ammar al Benai moderated a discussion through which working papers were submitted by the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and the National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Bahrain Center for Strategic International and Energy Studies, the Rasat, Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Shura Council Member, Dalal Zayed, and the MP Mohammed Isa Al Abbasi. The Minister of Justice gave a presentation on the legislation on criminal acts and anti terrorism, in which he said that the legislative progress that has been made lies in respect for the law as per the constitution then the minister of finance gave a presentation on legislation of an of an of on commerce and the economy in which he said that legislative progress has also been achieved through the comprehensive vision of reform by his majesty the king which implemented new practices and achieved change the Darasat chairman of the Darasat board of trustees gave a presentation on specialized centers that support legislation in which he said that Bahrain experienced legislative progress over the 20 year long reign of his majesty the king which have established the concepts of justice constitution rights and duties for all citizens and residents. Then Shura Council member Dilal Zayed presented a paper on legislation on women's rights in which she said that the kingdom represents a role model in the region in the field of empowering women as per the constitution and its laws. Finally, MP Mohammed Al Abbasi presented on the legislative support on political rights in which he said that the past 20 years have witnessed important achievements in terms of legislation and monitoring. He said that these include cooperation, mutual respect between the legislative and executive authorities in the interests of the country and the citizens. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, held a discussion meeting with the chairman of the Pakistani Senate, Muhammad Sadiq Sanjarani. Saleh praised the bilateral cooperation thanks to the leaders of both countries and hailed the bilateral relations. He praised His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's keenness to enhance relations with various countries and strengthen the Bahraini diplomatic values. Saleh praised the progress of relations between the two countries in all fields, especially the economic, politics, education, legislative, cultural, sports, military and defense fields. He hailed the number of agreements signed between the two countries and stressed the importance of holding exchanged visits in order to enhance unity and discuss topics of common concern. Asalah briefed Sanjrani on the rules and legislations of the Shura Council as well as the series of accomplishments of the Council. The Chairman of the Pakistani Senate expressed thanks and appreciation to the Shura Chairman for his invitation. He praised the development witnessed in Bahrain in all fields, especially the parliamentary field thanks to the role and effort of His Majesty the King. We have very uh, strong and uh, cemented relations uh, with Bahrain and uh, especially in all sectors but now we have started a new era for the parliaments and we are going to learn from each other expertise and uh, I myself uh, on my behalf of my delegation from the government of Pakistan, we are thankful to the government of Bahrain, to His Majesty the King for taking care of our people who are here and they are very happy. I met them last night. MashaAllah, uh, they want to serve here and to be with their any purpose. Has come at the right time in order to discuss uh, in details further sort of cooperation between the uh, two entities here in Bahrain and in Pakistan. We have now okay uh, gone to the details of uh, having the experience of both parties in certain areas in order okay, to be exchanged with the other party. Uh, in Bahrain, of course, we look always forward to see the uh, expertise of other parliaments that have served okay, on a longer terms and at the same time benefit out of the experience that we have got in Bahrain. 
The Ministerial Committee for Legislative and Legal Affairs held its periodic meeting, chaired by Deputy Premier Jawad Larayab, in the presence of ministers and committee members. The Ministerial Committee reviewed the draft laws, treaties, agreements, memorandums of understanding and decisions that the committee had studied at the request of the government and taken the necessary procedures and recommendations ahead of their reference to the Cabinet. The committee also reviewed draft laws based on proposals for laws submitted by the legislative branch. The Legislation and Legal Opinion Commission prepared the legal draft of the proposed laws and prepared the government notes on them. The committee also looked at proposals referred by the Council of Representatives to the government and also gave its opinion on issues referred by the Cabinet based on requests from different ministries and government agencies. In a signing ceremony at the offices of Bahrain Mumtalakat Holding Company, Mazad and Bahrain Real Estate Investment Idama announced their first partnership for the online auction of local real estate, representing a strategic alignment between the two companies within the Mumtalakat Group. The agreement allows Mazad to introduce online auctions in cooperation with renowned specialized auction companies to the real estate market in the kingdom as part of its asset sale portfolio. Idama CEO Amin al of the revealed that the first property listed in a 12,000 square meters empty plot in Ali located near Riyadat Mall and the Arabian Open University. The remaining five properties are to be included in the listing will be announced in March in order to allow potential buyers and investors enough time to prepare ahead of the live auction. The Mazad Idama partnership will introduce the sale of local real estate through online auctions for the first time in the Kingdom of Bahrain. A partnership agreement was uh, signed today between Mazad and uh, Idama, the first of its kind, to introduce uh, properties and real estate au and, and electronic auctions. Um, this will be the first uh, introduction of properties and electronic auctions uh, in Bahrain. We'll do, Mazad will, will organize these auctions in uh, cooperation with the specialized auction houses in this uh, field. Um, the electronic auctions is a, is a great way to introduce uh, properties or other assets as, uh, for sale as they are very transparent, fair and, and uh, competitive. Um, we encourage uh, all interested parties to participate in this auction, um, either from the uh, investors, real estate developers or uh, individuals. This is the first uh, strategic relationship between Idama and uh, Mazad. And this is really the first collaboration under the Mumtalakat uh, companies uh, that we hope will result in a positive impact. Idama has selected six properties um, that we feel are attractive and we would like to invite the private sector to participate uh, through Mazad. Um, the first property that we've identified is a property of 12,000 square meters in Ali, close to a Riyadat Mall, which we think will be an attractive proposition for the private sector. 